you've been around sneakers or sneakerheads the last couple of years, you've probably heard the word boost. 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 Boost, boost, boost. 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 Over and over and over again. While connected to names like Kanye, Boost is now becoming synonymous with Adidas, like Air is with Nike. This is... I'm Michael Pivoteau. Uh, I'm the Senior Director for Innovation for Running. I wanted to find out more about Boost, so I took a trip to the Adidas campus and asked a few questions. So what is Boost? Uh, Boost is a, um, it's a thermoplastic, a highly elastic thermoplastic urethane that is formed into a kind of an elliptical shape foamed pellet that on its own is like amazing because it has properties that are generally never together. You never get something that's super soft that's also springy. You don't get something that's springy that's super soft. So that in itself is what Boost is and then when you fuse it together into uh, a molded shape when all of these are formed together and they're done just through uh, steam and so they form together the skins kind of touch and it allows for amazing added benefits beyond what we ever kind of dreamed of we kind of found the holy grail with this material that cushions beyond compare and returns energy beyond compare okay stop energy return Wait, like, what does that mean exactly? How can something return energy? What does energy return mean? It's kind of a lie. Um, it's, uh, what you're really measuring is uh, uh, energy loss. You're reducing the loss of energy. So that's kind of what energy return is the marketing term for. So there's, not, there's nothing out there that's returning more than what you put in, um, but we're returning way more of what you put in than anyone else. Okay, that, that sounds great, but how does that help? Like an athlete or better yet, someone that's just going to the mall and they're wearing a pair of Boost. Fundamental terms, imagine that you could run the same workout, same run uh, with less effort. Or for the same effort, you could go farther. Or for the same effort, you could go faster. That's essentially what that savings of energy does for you, right? So we know in a, in a lab environment, we get a 1% um, energy savings from Boost. So this got me to thinking, where did Boost come from? Uh, a collaboration with BASF and our uh, uh, AIT group at the time, we're now called the Future Group. All right, so to break this all down, Boost was made by BASF and consists of these small pellets that are made of thermoplastic urethane and they use steam to bond them together to make a midsole, something like this, for your shoe. Adidas has found this technique allows for a greater energy return than anything else on the market, which is dope. For anyone that has worn Boost, this translates to a softer, more responsive feeling to the shoes you wear. I wanted to dig a little deeper. This is Brandon Beatty. I'm the category director for men's running in the US. With Adidas, a lot of the momentum of Boost is focused on running. You can have it in other sports, but running seems to be like the hero for Boost right now. Boost for us is one of the pinnacle franchises we have at Adidas. Boost represents the future of running from our standpoint and Boost represents innovation. Boost is the best running technology bar none. It's the greatest running shoe that we've made and that's what the team set out to create and we think we've done that. When it comes to Boost, there are only a few shoes that people really think about. The Ultra Boost, the NMDs, and the Yeezy Boost. All three of which are really different shoes. I wanted to know what was it about those particular shoes that made Boost so different? Boost is one of the very um, select fortunate franchises that straddles the style and the performance world. So if it's Kanye wearing at halftime at the United Center to um, runners and people who run alike wearing that shoe for comfort and energy return, we check both of those boxes. So it's really transcended just an individual sport like running and it's come to represent very much more than that. I think that what makes Boost so special and what makes it resonate with everyone the way it does is that it transcends just a performance benefit. It's the most comfortable shoe you can wear, but it looks amazing. There is a style aspect that combined with a performance aspect, if done right, that you have something very, very special. And I think that's what Boost does. So Boost is great in lifestyle shoes and running shoes. 
Well, what about other sports? When, when the company's looking at Boost within various different shoes, I mean, Boost is a performance technology. It started as a performance technology. It is the best performance technology that we have. And it started with a running shoe. And what's exciting is you start seeing that uh, spill over into other categories. So every, every athlete wants energy return. Every athlete wants comfort. Um, that's why you're, you've seen it in basketball silhouettes. You're seeing it in things, everything from uh, snowboarding boots with action sports, baseball cleats. The idea of comfort and energy return is a universal language for any athlete. Uh, but to the point of it transcending more than that, from a style standpoint, yes, you want to have comfortable shoes in NMD and different iterations like this, or whether it's even Stan Smith, we take chances and we push things forward. So we're trying different things out in different franchises. So that's why you're seeing boost in different, not only performance categories, because that's a universal benefit that everyone wants. Because it transcends and it has a different audience and it has a, a style aspect to it, it makes total sense from action sports to originals at the same time. So finally, I wanted to know about the future of Boost. What could we expect to come in the future from Boost and honestly, from Adidas? The future of Boost is very exciting. We've just most recently unveiled a couple different technologies. One of them was Futurecraft. And that redefines how you can take, uh, treat Boost, get more energy return out of it. And that's made in a speed factory in Germany. And that's coming to the US in 2017. We've also introduced something called 3D printing where we actually remove Boost and have a 3D printed midsole with a heel clip forged to that midsole so you get rid of any stitching or gluing. So sometimes in the absence of Boost, we're also creating new technologies, but you're gonna see it come to life in a lot of different silhouettes, whether it's a subtle change to Ultra Boost, right? If, whether it's with an Ultra Boost 3.0 where we have a prime knit upper with a little bit more rib texture, and I can't give too much away, but next year you're going to see this model and this silhouette evolve more to different looks, whether it's materials, colors, or just overall look and feel for the, for the silhouette itself. So there's a lot of innovation coming down the pipeline. We're not going to walk away from this, um, from this uh, original and like, iconic silhouette, but you're going to see a lot of different iterations from it. So the future is very exciting. Future is bright. So the next time you hear someone say boost. 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 <laughs> Boost. 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 Brr, boost. 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 Ha. Know that this is what they're talking about. A small thermal plastic urethane pellet that returns energy and has people calling it the next big thing in the sneaker world. Let me know what you think about Boost down in the comments below. I am Jacques Slade. Be sure to turn on your notifications if you want to see more stuff like this. And be sure to follow me over on Twitter, IG, and Snapchat. It's all under Cousteau. As always, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, darn it. Part two. One, two, three, four, five, two. Oh, yes. This is eight. Ah, got it. Got it. Oh, yes. I am on a roll right now. Guess I spoke too soon.